you're looking and hearing the busiest mode of transportation for this holiday. Most travelers will drive, a fact that's well known by folks like Amanda McBreary. So I'm used to when to come out and when not to come out on the road. She's actually commuting from sales meetings in East Jersey back home to Pennsylvania, farther than many people who are doing holiday travel. But the rules are the same for every holiday driver. I guess got to mentally prepare myself for it. A helpful tip for car travel, but Jean Dublin and her husband are riding the rails. NJ Transit, to be precise, it shut down multiple times last month and had a variety of delays in the same period. Still, Ms. Dublin has this attitude. I don't have no control over the weather or the train situation, no. So just sit, relax. And have fun. Amtrak has also had similar delays as NJ Transit since they share infrastructure. Alex Garcia has been on both this holiday travel season, but wait, there's more. Amtrak to New Jersey Transit to your flight. To Newark, to our flight to Paris, and then from Paris to Amsterdam. So she ties us into another mode of travel. At Newark Liberty Airport, we saw a modest number of delays and passengers saying that to some extent, people have to anticipate those delays. It's not as bad as I expected. 60.6 million people are traveling in cars, 5.7 million in the air, and 4.6 million by bus. Here's advice from someone who will be on almost all modes of transportation this week. Be prepared and be patient. Everybody's traveling. Including the people you see right here. She spoke with us from this waiting floor and she was talking about the return trip. All those folks have to come back. The busiest return travel day being Sunday.